You won't know the narcissist is doing this. Narcissists like to keep secrets. They like to have things that are kept unknown and unseen by you. They have skeletons in the cupboard. They have discreditable facts that they wish to keep secret. But as long as they keep it a secret, it makes them feel powerful and in control. It makes them feel like they're better than you. But there is one secret that is worse than anything else, which is something that most narcissists do. And you won't know that the narcissist is doing this. It will be hidden from you. They won't want you to see it while they are with you. You won't know that the narcissist has other sources of supply. You won't know that they are cheating on you. You won't know that they are being disloyal. But this is what they are doing behind your back. This is what they are hiding from you. This is the narcissist's secret. They're acting like they're loyal and committed to you. But they're either involved in sexual relations outside of your relationship or they may be emotionally cheating. They may be establishing a close intimate connection with someone else, which is a violation of your trust. It's demonstrating a lack of loyalty. It's showing an absence of allegiance, devotion, obligation, faith and support. Because the narcissist made you believe that they were exclusive to you. They made you believe that you are in a committed relationship. But if you look closely, the signs were already there. The narcissist showed a lack of respect for you. They acted in an insulting way towards you. So if they didn't respect you in those aspects, why would they respect you in being loyal? When a person cheats, they are being disrespectful to the partner and narcissists are very disrespectful. So it makes sense to assume that they would be cheating. They will flirt with other people. They will lead them on into thinking that they are single and available because they don't value you. They don't appreciate you. In their minds, everyone is expendable because they're always looking for the bigger, better deal. They're always looking for the next shiny new toy. And that is why they're able to turn against you. That is why they're able to get rid of you. That is why it's so easy for them to cheat on you. Narcissists are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They lack consideration for other people. They're only concerned with their own profit and pleasure. So they do not care that they are being unfaithful. They do not care about how it might affect you. They do not care that they are keeping secrets. All they care about is getting what they want. All they care about is getting what makes them feel good. They have an intense and selfish desire for power and possessions. And they see people as their possessions. But they're never satisfied with the love that you give to them. They always want more. One person is never enough for them. They're always considering other prospects.
they're always keeping their options open because they get bored easily once they know you're not going anywhere once they know that they've got you they enjoy the chase they enjoy the challenge they enjoy seeking out other sources of supply they're predators and they cannot be tamed they cannot be domesticated but just because the narcissist is cheating it doesn't mean they're worth someone better Narcissists often downgrade and that is another reason why they will hide it from you because they're embarrassed so they don't want you to know about it. Sometimes they may even return to their previous partners even those who may now be in relationships even those who may now be married. Narcissists like to be involved with people who are involved with someone else. They like to take people's things because they're very envious and jealous. They desire to have something that belongs to someone else. And if they can get it, it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like they're better than the other person. You won't know the narcissist is doing this. You won't know that they are cheating. But there are signs to look for. There are signs that can reveal to you what they are doing. You may start noticing that they are putting more effort into getting dressed. They may spend more time at the gym. They may focus more on their hair and makeup and then they will disappear for several hours without any justifiable reason. Or they will deliberately provoke an argument so that you are no longer talking to them. And then they will have an opportunity to cheat without you being suspicious. But if you ever find out about it, they will say that you argued, they will say that you were not together, or they will say that you hurt them, you upset them, so they needed someone to comfort them and make them feel better. But this is what they intended to do all along. They intended to cheat on you. If you catch them out, they will always have a reason for doing it, they will always have an excuse. They will try to convince you that what they did was not wrong. They will try to convince you that it wasn't cheating. It was just something they did because you made them upset. They will always blame you for their actions. They can't accept it. Because they know it doesn't make them look good. It's not how they want people to think of them. When the narcissist cheats... They will always leave you blaming yourself for their actions. It's a double blow. Not only do they cheat on you, but they also blame you for it. They will say that you were never there for them. You didn't care about them. But it has nothing to do with you. This is just what narcissists do. This is just who they are. They're greedy and selfish and they get bored very easily. They're always looking for the bigger better deal. They're always looking for the next shiny new toy. So they're prone to cheating. It's inevitable when you're dealing with a narcissist and you may not know about it but trust and believe that it is happening because one person could never be enough for them. They're very good at hiding things so you may never know about it. But just because you don't see it that doesn't mean that it isn't going on. 
if they're not getting any attention or affection from you, they're getting it from somewhere else. They need attention. They need supply. They can't live without it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries you can email me at coaching at narc survivor at the crew UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.